Some of the corn and its byproducts go to feed the animals. One of the byproducts of corn is shuckweeds. Shuckweeds contains shucks, corn, and stalks. Boy, these cows are hungry. They're eating my hand and my shirt. Well, it must be time to feed. Let's get to it. Feeding is very important. It has to be done twice a day. The animals need to constantly have food in order to survive and grow. Accomplishing this ensures that the farmer isn't wasting his time, energy, and money. Here is Stan feeding cows using the bobcat to load the wagon. Sometimes when the wagon is broken and there's no time to fix it immediately, we feed directly with the bobcat. Many times, especially in the winter, we have to feed at dark using the lights on the bobcat to show the way. Many times a farmer has livestock at more than one farm. In this case, there is added driving time between the sites. Here is a modern hog operation ran by Gary Robarbs and his family. 500 sows in the market, about 10,000 pigs a year. First of all, to get pigs, the farmer has to get the sows and the boars together. This man is putting a sow in a farrowing crate so that she can have her pigs safely. An average litter is about 10 pigs, and the pigs pictured are just a few hours old. In about six weeks, these pigs will be weaned in on-ground corn with a ration of soybean meal. These pigs are on their way and about halfway to market. Here they are, about six months old and about 240 to 260 pounds. They are ready for market and headed to your table. To keep the farm running, a farmer has to be the following. A welder, a mechanic, a carpenter, a plumber, an operator, conservationist, a commodities expert, a safety advocate, a groundskeeper, and have computer skills. Is farming worth it? Well, I look at it as uh, therapy. I, I use it to uh, um, and as a release, I work off the farm quite a bit, so there's no better place to raise kids. There's, and there's a family. It's uh, all sorts of products that uh, uh, that are coming off the farm. Not only corn and soybeans, but it's, it's attitudes, it's values, it's knowing the value of a, of a dollar and attitude of what what uh, work can return. And, and uh, so, yes, it's uh, it, it's uh, a way of life that um, very few can experience today. And uh, to me, it's a very enjoyable, uh, what's called occupation or pastime. Is it worth it? Well, it's. I mean, I could do a lot of things. I think get out of college, and you know, I could have took a lot of different jobs or done a lot of different things, but I chose to to do that, and I really enjoy it. I don't know how many jobs you can have that you can get to work with your family members. And, uh, kind of decide where you're going and what's going on. And I, I probably do work more hours than most people, but that's kind of a trade-off. You get to, uh, get to be your own boss to some degree, or three or four of you can make it work or not make it work, so it's has a lot of rewards. Is it worth it? There's still a lot of personal pride, a lot of enjoyment. Uh, financially, it hasn't been satisfying. So a lot of people are leaving the industry because financially, the financial part is the one, one of the most important parts. Is it worth it? Those that are there would say yes.